team is learning new details about an incident between Richmond County deputies and the man they were called to give a mental evaluation to earlier this month. That incident would turn deadly after a deputy used her taser. Deputies were called to Nelson Graham's home for a court ordered mental health evaluation when deputies say he was not cooperating. After the taser was used, Graham was hospitalized and later died. Will Rio joins us in the studio with what we're learning from that incident report. Well, I got a copy of that incident report from the family that shows what police say happened on December 16th at Nelson Graham's home on George Road. Initially, we received information from the sheriff's office saying Graham became combative and resisted deputies. His family is saying those words don't paint the entire picture of what happened that night. 33 year old Nelson Graham is described as a gentle giant by his family. He was a father, a loving man, peaceful. Graham was a father to eight children with a love for cutting hair and creating tattoos. I don't know how getting help ended up here knowing my brother and the kind of person he was. This incident report paints the scene of when deputies met with Graham at his home on George Road. Now I wonder, do you need police, fire, or an ambulance? On December 16th at 10:15 p.m., Richmond County deputies Kevin Clark and Madison Emerson were dispatched to Graham's home for a court-ordered mental evaluation. The call came in from the mobile crisis hotline from someone with the family because Graham was acting erratically, according to the report. And are you or anyone else in immediate danger? No. no. Deputies Clark and Emerson found Graham sitting in his bedroom with his arms folded over his chest. His family says that he was sitting on the foot of his bed. The report reads deputies determined he would need to be taken out of the house and transported. That's when deputies grabbed Graham's folded arms, trying to unfold them to put him in handcuffs. He then began, quote, passively resisting, not giving his arms up to deputies. I'm on the foot of my bed with my arms folded. Should that cost me my life? That's when Graham and the deputies ended up on the ground. Graham brought his arms up under his chest on the ground. They say verbal commands were ignored and Emerson activated her taser, releasing a single cartridge with no effect. They tried to detain him, but Graham kept his arms covered. Then Emerson deployed her second taser, still showing no effect. The report states Emerson drive stunned him several times where the taser was put directly in his body and was able to handcuff him. Deputies gave verbal commands for Graham to stand up and got no response from him. They moved him to the living room where he was given CPR in Narcan. Graham passed away six days later in the hospital. My brother had no violent bone in his body. He was non-aggressive to anybody he ever came in contact with. His family says if mental health resources were there, his brother would still be alive. We got to draw a line where some got to change, obviously, because we can't keep having young men die for no reason due to mental health. And we reached out to the sheriff's office for the use of force reports and training for both of those deputies involved in the incident. We'll keep you updated as we learn more in this case. Okay.